One man tried to get everyone to safety. Some residents were in wheelchairs. They were the priority. When they realized a man was trapped inside, they tried to knock down the door, but it was too late. Police say the mall is not in danger, but it is important for parents to talk to their kids about the language they use online. The conversation tonight struck home for many of the attendants and panelists, causing a passionate disagreement among the opposing sides. Employees will have to work extra hard to make sure there's no shortage as we head into summer. Now what's really ironic is while we're removing bees from inside this house, just down the trail, new honeybees have arrived. Police say a robber set up a rendezvous through a popular dating app called Plenty of Fish, but that was not looking for love. Instead, police say he was looking for his next victim. Fox 5 Jacqueline Schultz reports. Police urge anyone who may also have been a victim to call DeKalb County Police. Coming up on Good Day Atlanta, Hillary Clinton makes it official by choosing Senator Tim Kaine as her running mate. What she is saying about her VP pick. And President Obama is expected to make a stop in Atlanta. We'll tell you when next. Flags and giggles inside this local preschool. For the little ones, it's a fun-filled day. But retired veteran Admiral Casey Cohen and Major General David Bockhill say they're ready in these kids to one day serve their country in whatever way they choose by simply teaching them about the history, meaning, and etiquette of the American flag. President Obama will be in Atlanta next month. He is scheduled to speak at the 95th National Convention of Disabled American Veterans. That will be on August 1st. In a statement, the White House says the president looks forward to discussing ways to ensure veterans receive the benefits they've earned and talk about ways to expand opportunities for the service members, veterans, and their families. I don't know how fight, fight, but just grab some what we can and just get out. Flames and heavy smoke filled a boarding house in northwest Atlanta early this morning while residents were sound asleep, taking the life of one. Fire Chief Harris says the victim was roughly in his 50s and that the fire was contained in his bedroom. Units arrived on scene to find heavy fire conditions center core in one room uh, in this particular structure. They got water in there pretty quick, got a pretty good knockdown, completed some searches in there, did find one deceased male in the fire room. One man tried to get everyone to safety. Some residents were in wheelchairs. They were the priority. When they realized a man was trapped inside, they tried to knock down the door, but it was too late. When I kicked this door in, black smoke came toward me. I couldn't even uh, go in there. It was so dark in this room, I couldn't even see him. So I ducked down. I seen all the fire, but I couldn't see Mr. Mayor. I couldn't find him in there. The roommates are thankful to be alive, but mourn from the loss of fellow resident, Mr. Melvin. He was very nice. He was a nice, loving man. He was very nice. I don't have anything bad to say about him. Authorities are still investigating what triggered the deadly fire, but they say it may be ruled as accidental. What I say by accidental, um, uh, just to give you an idea of what accidental, it could be smoking, it could be a candle, just nothing malicious at this time. A serious threat made in an online gaming chat room sparks an even more serious response. Police tracked down a 16-year-old boy who threatened to shoot people inside the Mall of Georgia in Gwinnett County. Investigators say he made specific statements on how many people he wanted to shoot and what time he would attack. At this point, he has not been taken into custody, um, but we know exactly who he is. We know where he lives. A concerned chat member contacted authorities about the threat on Monday and just enough time for police to take precautions. We understand that this is an alarming situation for the general public and due to the magnitude of those types of threats, we uh, deployed numerous both uniform and tactical undercover resources within the Mall of Georgia for the majority of the day. Police say the mall is not in danger, but it is important for parents to talk to their kids about the language they use online. Due to the magnitude of, of where we are um, in the national climate, um, statements like this do cause alarm. And it's alarm that uh, makes sense. That's why we're investigating the matter. 
We take claims like this very seriously, and we're going to do our part to ensure that the safety of the citizens in this county and anyone who travels through it is maintained. Police have not arrested the teen yet, but they say he could be charged with terroristic threats. That's, that's a lot. It's like 80,000 beers. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a big party weekend. The search is on after some beer burglars decided to steal from Sweetwater Brewery this morning. In the middle of the night, two trailers were stolen off of their property that contained over 3,000 cases of beer. We've got a small crew here. Um, the only people we have working overnight are a couple of brewers um, who are on one side of the facility. You know, so these guys came to the to our docks. Both trailers have been located in the Atlanta area, one in Clayton County, the other in College Park. But so far, only 10 out of 40 pallets have been found. So went and there were 10 pallets of sweet water sitting on the dock with a blue tarp over the top of them. You know, how would you not <laughs> look under the blue tarp and see all that beer sitting there? Employees will have to work extra hard to make sure there's no shortage as we head into summer. Our guys now have to work overtime to make more beer. You know, it's not like, you know, there's plenty more to sit in the tank. We've got to make more beer, and that's a two-week process. With the company's reputation on the line, finding the stolen beer is important. However, it ends up at somebody's party, and they grab one out, and, you know, it's, it doesn't taste right, and they may think that was, we just don't know how to make beer anymore. We're hoping that we can find it. We are going to destroy it. Uh, because it's not, you know, beer that we feel comfortable anymore being sold under the name Sweetwater.